Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Thief. So, we just... We just read the file on Aaron, and... Now I'm gonna go into Aaron's room over here. She can't stay here! It's too dangerous! Here and a pocket portrait there, and I believe that was it. Either Garrett is really short, or his bed, that bed is huge. Now, would you look at that? The first automatic wheelchair in the city. So, we're going to grab a poppy here, and we're heading to the treatment center now. History 3, 825-689. And yet Moira Asylum is not without its share of trouble. Battered by the co constant to and fro of coastal winds, it has a melancholy and beleaguered atmosphere not common to the more grounded buildings of the city, nor does it want for droughts, 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 I believe that's droughts, and other embellishments. Her staff are both courteous and cheerful, despite their conditions for which they are to be commended. Most startling yet, however, is the fertile soil of the asylum's island within which have been sown the many seeds of wildflowers no longer common to the more civilized surrounds to which we have become accustomed. I'm not going to go back and read those in order. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Now... I have to descend to the treatment level. Confidentiality. Passing beyond this point con constitutes a strict confidentiality agreement. Experimental techniques remain the property of their respective owners. Anyone found copying the use of these techniques is liable for treason under the Medical Act of NRY 839. Okay. So, all you doctors out there, lobotomies are against the law now. Like treason. I don't think lobotomies are legal anyway. Because I'm pretty sure they're kind of bad. Just a little bit bad. So I knew it was there. Oh, well, Garrett kind of glitched for a second there. Now we have to head down here. I don't like the sound of that. Whispers are not good. Whispers are never good. Especially when they're demonic whispers. And... Yeah, just not good. So now. Climb back out. 
can push the button, but nothing happens. Fine. I was gonna try to jump across. Probably would have been a bad idea, considering it looks like there was not an opening there that I thought there was. <clears throat> Let me check. Let me check that. Yeah, there's definitely an opening there, but I guess I can't jump to it. Oh well. Find room 3F. 3B, Electrotherapy Chamber. All dead. All dead, but the shadows, they were taken by the shadows. The shadows have been hung. Okay. 3C, Hydrotherapy Chamber. like a doctor hung up in that thing. They're hurting me. There's too much pain. Okay, and that says attention. Excitable patients. <laughs> 3D. Lobotomy room. Oh, jeez. There's somebody right there. switch. I know it is to open that, but there's no power right now. Three E operation room. Experimental treatment. Medical experimentation in progress. These doors need power. There's probably a generator down here somewhere. Escape note, Avery, leave quietly, ignore the oil and glass, they're for your protection, light a torch and meet me at the docks, I don't know what they are, but if one of them sees you, set the bastard alight and run, I'll wait for you, T. Elevator lock, 1214-841, Pete, I have a favor to ask of you. The elevator to reformation is currently open access. Anyone can just waltz in and pay a visit to maximum security. I'd like you to install a locking mechanism. This isn't just for the safety of those in reformation, but for the safety of our patients here in the asylum as well. What happens if one of Huntfield's subjects gets loose? The patients on the upper levels would be defenseless. Think about it. I'll get you whatever clearance you need, Eliza. So... Yeah. Now, before I do that, I want to come up here and cut the wire or I'll get shot by an arrow and fail. Apparently there's something going on here, something that's not just the medical stuff. Bear North Crest, this is the new set of documents. Extracting the Primal, 622-841. The ritual to harness the Primal suffered a terrible setback, but perhaps there is still hope. The energy merely entered a weaker vessel than the one intended. 
I cannot see how this was possible, but there must be a way to return it to the stone. So that's referring to the explosion at Northcrest Manor. That was the primal stone, and he was trying to harness the power, but ended it ended up going entering air in now instead. 3G sensory deprivation chamber. Sensory deprivation. Doors are to remain closed at all times while room is occupied. Removal from the care of the from the cares of the world is soothing for the soul. Yeah, because being stuck in a room that's absolutely silent. Uh, yeah, depriving you of your senses isn't good. That's just gonna drive somebody insane. Because there gets to be a point can't remember where, but somewhere, I want to say it was somewhere within the state that I live in, there's a chamber that is completely soundproof, and, like, sitting in there, I guess you just start to go crazy after a while, like, you can only be in there for a, for a little while at a time, or it just, it literally is, it's just bad news, you, it, screws up your mind and stuff. Now... The generator is on. So, let's open up the elevator, huh? We could open up all of these treatment rooms too. Yeah, that's a great idea. So now all the treatment rooms are open, and there were patients in some of them. Calibration. Calibrate machine carefully before commencing operation. Piercing the veil that masks the window to the soul can reveal the path to wellness. So, they're doing something... something bad. Transfer request 79841. I understand the inevitable concern, but I am... I am forced to arrange for patient 18 to be transferred below to the prison level. I am well aware that this is not standard procedure, but the subject must be isolated for everyone's safety. The prison level is the only suitable space, Dr. Stedman. So apparently, wherever Erin was, she was causing strange behavior from the other patients. Vision. Don't show him you're scared. Don't let him see you lose control. I wanted to stop him. I wanted to save myself, but they won't let me wake up. I need the primal out of the girl now, but do not let her die, no matter the cost. You understand the fear, don't you, Garrett? The fear of being trapped, of being used. Quickly! She's corrupting it! See? Oh, I ruin everything. The primal is dangerous! It must be controlled! No! Uh, it's no good. Right I'll take her eye. back down to the prison level. Right in the eye. I 
thought you died. But it was worse. You did steal the primal that night. Now the Baron wants it back. They spoke about the prison level. Looks like I'm going even deeper into this hole. Apparently Garrett's voice changed there. Yeah, but now we've got dangerous patients on the loose. And they're alerted. And they stay alerted. I might just knock these guys out. This one I might anyways. Knocking in pipes. Pete, fix the knocking in those rotting pipes. I swear, the accursed noise is making its way into my dreams. I've even caught myself tapping it with my fingers as I work. I ask you, is that any way to operate? Dr. Huntfield. Sword 7. So we've got the ivory circle. Circle, a gilded band mounted with a cluster of ivory. Good find. But yeah, apparently that knocking in that pipe was getting into his dreams and everything, so I'm assuming that's why this combination for the safe was the knocking, because it was getting in his head so much. Sterilization. Clean instruments with alcohol before commencing vivisection. Exploration of stresses on the human body is best done in the heady light of life. Okay. Bottom room. Adjust gauge of orbital class to two account for patient skull thickness. An overactive imagination is the first sign of madness. An overactive imagination is also a sign of... Uh, I'm going to assume that an overactive imagination is also a sign of artists and stuff like that too. I would assume they have an overactive imagination. Now we've got this guy in here who is... He was dunking the doctor into the hydrotherapy thing. Now 
I see it is possible to sneak through these rooms, but it's very difficult and time consuming. So anyway, hydrotherapy. Remember to vary length of submersion for maximum effectiveness. Breathe in water, breathe out light. But you can't breathe water. Yeah, apparently that's a secret. Room, we've got this Spreading like oil. All dead. All dead, but the shadows, they were taken by the shadow. Now, the this shadow is the hardest thing to get without being noticed if you away. don't want to knock the guy out. Is that note there? I don't believe there was anything in those changed doors. down there. There's a telescope there. The or dark. microscope there. Need to stop but the that shadows from spreading. You get seen. Don't fall on the fire. Oh yeah, see that note? When you come up to read it, you're right in his peripheral vision where he'll notice you. Shock therapy. Disregard patient distress when completing shock therapy course. A moment of pain can bestow a lifetime of well-being. Don't want to step on that. That would probably hurt me. Now, we unlocked the elevator up there, but in order to get all of the loot, we want to go down here. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything in this room. Though. Or this one. I don't think I did, but I just want to make absolutely sure. Oh, I did miss something. Good thing I came back and checked. Now, wrong room. Next one. Now, in this room... Now I'm going to check my progress so, so far. 87. I may have missed something. I can't quite remember. But anyway. If I did, oh well. Not a big deal. I mean, I would rather have gotten everything, but if I miss one thing, that's not that bad. through here. And this might be the thing. It might be the and here's where you get it. I don't remember for sure. Treasure. I made it. I found it. The other man, the other me, he hid his caches in these vents like a well-worn coat. The close walls are comforting in a way I have never felt before, and I feel so close to him that I can almost smell his scent. The treasure of of his labors can't be far, and the clicking, beating heart of our combined desire must be closer yet. A small rest, and I will continue. I have come so close, it can only be a matter of feet before the years join us in triumph. And there's blood all over the place. I'm assuming he didn't make it. Now we are coming into the old prison. And 
this is where the elevator would have brought us to. That is the elevator, actually. No, I don't want to go that way. Yeah, the thing ran by down there. I don't want to go that way just yet. Maybe I should have been keeping my fire arrows because those are good against these things. Because I do end up actually encountering them, not not so much fighting them, but having to avoid them. And fire arrows are great for that because it drives them away. I thought there was something on the ground here. Must be at a different spot. That's down here, I think. Yep, there it is. So this is the prison level. And something to mention when you do encounter these things down here. They can sense when you're using the focus vision, so if you've got that active. If you've got that, the ability to use that then it's not a good place to use it here. Because it, they, just like a guard or something, they will start to detect you and then find you if you're using it. Prison rules. Do not approach patients. Do not speak to patients. Disregard all claims of sanity. Patients are restrained for their own protection. Was Aaron really held down here? I should check all the cells. good thing about these things down here is they're blind. They can't see you, but they can hear you quite well. Much better than other enemies. Report. Aggression. 10-15-841. I have noticed that patient 11 exhibits increased aggression and agitation when patient 18 is being wheeled past his room. His attempts to touch her never get far, but his struggles are violent enough that today he pulled one of the anchor hooks from the ceiling of his cell. This will require further study, Dr. Huntfield. So apparently bad stuff happens when Aaron goes near anyone. I've seen my share of prisons in the city. Nothing like this. Yeah, this is a messed up prison. Now, carefully watching out for one of those, one of those things. Not sure what they are exactly. There's some some creature that's created from the primal turned people into those. Or at least that's my understanding. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna go that way. Drop down from this balcony back here. But before I do, I'm all out of time. So, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.
Goodbye.